chance concealing what deep down I felt for you Oh, I regret for losing the one who loved me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Tanika Dia. Alrighty, and today I am going to be unboxing my very first boxy premium box, which is which this month is a collaboration with Fenty Beauty, so that is nice, as well as my boxy lux for the month of March 2020. So, yeah, I'll be unboxing both of those. And um, after I unbox them both, please stay tuned because I do do a tutorial using all the products that was in the um, Boxy Premium, which is the Fenty Collaboration products. So, um, I just want to go ahead and get right into it. Um, and afterwards, after you um, watch the unboxing and then the tutorial, and then afterwards, all the way at the end, I do give my thoughts and feelings on the whole um, Fenty products as well as how the products performed. Um, as well as I did use um, this Fenty hydrating foundation for the first time today, which I do have on, which I love, as well as the Fenty powder, setting powder under the eyes, as well as the Fenty, um, uh, what is this, um, bronzer and Carmo Cutie. Um, so pretty much I actually did a whole full face of Fenty today. So. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in this video today. If it's too long, sorry guys, but it is what it is. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it so we don't have to make it any longer. Alrighty, so Boxy Premium, you know, pretty much looks like any other Boxy um, uh, box. And also guys, everything that you need to know about Boxy Premium, well Boxy Base Box Premium and Lux will be down in the description. Um, so yeah. And the inside has OxyCharm and Fenty Beauty. So, yeah. That's really cute. And the card also. Sorry, guys. And then the card. Yep. Tells you everything that's in the box and how much it is worth as usual. And, um, yeah. All right, so, um, oh, you know what? Yeah, I like the light better that way. Okay, so anyway, guys, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, so, the first thing is, let's put this down here. All right, so the first thing is the um, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Moroccan Spice Palette. This is the outer box. If I can open it and obviously um, I did use this palette on my eyes today let me put this down here this is in the way let me just take out everything and just put it down here and and also while I'm getting this stuff out let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room I am <laughs> wearing a wig which I actually like um, yeah I think it's a cute little wig got it from Amazon I think it was only like 18 19 dollars something like that I don't know because I'm not um, I don't be paying those hundred uh, hundred dollars and stuff like that for no wig because I'm not a wig person like that so I don't pay that much uh, for a wig now if someone gave me one and wanted me to review it I would do it but as far as me buying them because I don't wear wigs every day but um, you know I don't be spending a whole bunch of money on it like I said I think this was like $19, $20 I believe um, I will have it linked below but yeah for now I like it um, I did take the um, Senegalese twist out about uh, two weeks ago, I did go to the beauty salon and have them wash my hair really good, decondition and all that stuff. And then I did have it straightened, which I was wearing for about two weeks, and then it got on my nerves. And my hair is actually longer than this wig, which I'm very happy about. Um, rice water does work. Even when I was not on YouTube for those uh, months, I was still continuing to use the rice water, and it really does work. My hair did grow a lot. It is a lot longer than this wig, and um, yeah. So, but now actually it is um, just braided up right now. Um, 
so I could put this wig on. I didn't braid it, but <laughs> it's braided up right now, just going back. So, um, yeah. But uh, the reason why I decided to wear uh, wigs for maybe a month, yeah, maybe a month or two. I'll probably end up getting a few more, I don't know, but for maybe a month or two. Because I believe I'm going to go ahead and get my hair permanently dyed. Um, I'm looking towards blue or purple. I really am um, permanently because I've seen some beautiful ones. I went over swatches. I went to different places just to see and check out credentials and things like that. I think I found the spot that I'm really going to go to as well as I believe I'm going to get my hair cut again. Not I believe, I am. Um, this is about the length that I like it. I actually like it a little shorter than this, but you know, no, I don't know. I might get it up to the ears this time, guys. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I know I'm going to get it cut because, you know, to me, this is a little longer than I like, but it's okay. I mean, you know, it's cool. I like this length. It's good for me. Um, but my hair is about here. I don't know if you can see. I did not think to show a video on it, but you know, I don't know. Before I get it cut, I probably will go ahead and show you guys what it looks like before I get it cut. Like I said, that'll probably be in like a month or two though. So, but I am going to be wearing wigs until then. So, so again, <laughs> before I was so rudely interrupted by my battery dying and me talking too much as usual, um, I was saying that the first thing that's in the box is this, um, uh, Fenty Beauty. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. Very, very cute. I like that smoke look. And here are the colors. So, yeah, you know. You'll see how I feel about this if you continue to watch. So I won't get too much into it. I just wanted to show you all. This is what it looks like. Um, my review is at the end of the video. So we're not going to uh, talk about that right now. You just wait to the end. So please stay tuned. And this palette goes for uh, $29 right now. So that is good if you were looking to get it. Next thing is the Fenty um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. And I don't think you guys really want to see the packaging, right? So, I mean, not the outer packaging. Just this part is the important part. Um, so, we have the, sorry. We have the Fenty Beauty um, logo on it. And then it is Trophy Wife. And this gold looking color is actually true. To the product look at the product it's perfectly true to the color come on focus what's going on oh my bad there you go okay so yeah very pretty color i like that next thing i have is the pms fenty lipstick like that and it is a nice dark brown color I do have that on right now so yeah I like it I like this color and I'll go ahead and say even though I say it at the end of the video um, you know I wouldn't wear this color with this look it's just it's, it is what was in the box so that's why I have it on with this look so don't think you know I can't I'm colorblind because I know I wouldn't have wore this with this you know although it's okay but I still wouldn't have wore it with that and then the next thing are these um, Invisimat blotting paper so you know blotting paper is just when you have some oil on your face or whatever you just take one of these papers which looks like tightly packed in here right now oh, oh here's the papers and you put it inside this little roll and then you just um uh tear a sheet off oh it has a little mirror on it that's cute um tear it off and then you block the ex excess oil off your face i am a dry girl but in the summer i tend to get oily right into the t-zone so this would be good and come in handy for that the next thing is this gloss balm and this is in the color diamond milk so that can go with anything and it looks like this I do have that on now as well all right Just trying to get through this really fast guys this is um the match stick and this is in the color chili mango the orange color it's like an orangey color
So, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Okay. And that is that. All right. Oh, my gosh. I went through all that so fast and forgot to tell you guys the prices. My bad. All right. So, the highlighter is $36. The matchstick shimmer skin stick is $25. The gloss balm is $19. Um... The Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick is $18 and the blotting paper is $16. Boom. There we have it. So that is everything that is in the Boxy Premium this month in the month of March. Okay. We're going to go ahead and unbox this now. This is... Um, the Boxy Lux, which I have not looked at. Um, I did uh, um, open the bottom, but I did not look and see what's inside yet. So let's go ahead and get that done and get it out the way too. Uh, so we can move it along. So you can see what's next. And also, Boxy Charm has what's in here and the price as well. Pretty edgy. Okay. Some paper here. And paper all right so um i don't know if you're gonna be able to, oh yeah you can see that and this is all the products in there for the boxy lux this month well this um quarter all right so the first thing is this zova is it zova premiere looks like a palette of some sort you guys these videos should have been done way last week I got these videos over a week I mean these boxes a week ago but just been so busy last week and this week also I, this is like the first time I actually had time to sit down and do a video for real um yeah stuff has been happening my oldest son had to be taken to the ER and he was there for a while and then my youngest son I had to take him to urgent care later on in the week my son's stuff happened all in the beginning of the week and then the end of the week my younger son it's just it's a lot of stuff has been going on with the both of them and their health um just came about all of a sudden okay so anyway so last week I was so busy didn't have a chance to do anything but anyway this palette like I said Zova or, or Zoeva uh premiere oh is this a blush palette Writing is small. Oh yeah, blush palette. All right, so this is the outer packaging. This is cute. And these are the colors. Yeah, I can wear these colors. Now these colors I can wear for sure. Yeah, I like those colors. Okay. Let me just go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch. My makeup wipe here. Okay, so can y'all see that? It's probably not gonna let you see it, is it? My swatching is horrible. Sorry, guys. Can you see that? This is horrible. But anyway, it's like that. Okay. So yeah. Okay, there's that, and that is, um, $19. I was trying to skip on the prices because, oh, my stuff is broke. Look, this is the, the Moroccan, uh, what is this? Moroccan Pro Protect and Prevent Spray Color Complete. I love Moroccan oil um, products. I have like three of them now. They are so expensive though. So expensive. I had the um, the styling uh, lotion. I think it's called. I'm not sure if it's called lotion. But it's a styling lotion or cream. And I have the uh, oil and shampoo. Oh, here's the stuff. So I guess I can put it on. Bust. 
Oh, it's still good. I just had to put that back on and put the top. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that smells good. It smells just like the hair salon. Oh, it smells just like that. Although she don't use, the, well, the one I went to don't use this. But I have been to some that do use this. That's how I have the products that I have. Because I went to a salon that used nothing but, it smells just like it. I think it smells great. But anyway, so this uh, Moroccan Protect and Prevent Spray is $30. Oh yeah, I can't wait to try this. All right, and the next thing is this PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. This is a great, great product. I have one in my bathroom right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have two. I don't know when I'm gonna get to this one because they don't. You don't have to change these. These last forever because it's silicone, and so you know you don't have to change the head. And the one charge lasts for ever i mean i'm serious i think maybe i haven't charged or changed my battery on the thing probably been about four months and i use it a lot um so i don't know the, the battery staying power is awesome on this thing but yeah I, I i like this um i like these uh let me see you know never know what i might do with one in the future guys <laughs> anyway um this is it should be 90 yep 99 i got mine on sale uh for 79 but you know whatever this is the pmd beauty smart facial cleansing device and it is 99 dollars. yes and the next thing is well i can do these together this is the um um soul Janeiro coco cabana cream and brazilian bum bum cream you know, I've seen these. These have been in a lot of boxes. Well, I don't know about a lot of boxes, but it's been in boxes before. Um, so, yeah. I've never had them before. Like, I've gotten variations that did not have these. Like, other people had them, and I just happened to have another variation that did not include these. But that's okay. So, I'm excited to try these because I hear a lot of good things about these. And um, this duo is $15. All right. $15 for the duo here. And the next thing is this Boxy Charm. Oh, Boxy Charm Hello Charmer. Ooh, eyeshadow palette. I didn't know this was in here. I could have did a look. See, I like this color scheme better than the one in the Fenty box. I really do. The Fenty Moroccan Spice palette is not a great one to me. It's just it's not so anyway but i like the colors in here i really like this one okay so this i definitely might or will be doing a look with i like that that's really cute i like the colors in this one all right and this um boxy charm hello charmer palette is 39 dollars and we have this nars power matte lip pigment Oh, that's pretty. I like this packaging. I don't, I don't have anything NARS. Oh. NARS, do I? Oh, yeah, the orgasmic um, blush thing I bought and something else from them, but not like lipstick and foundation and all that. I've never tried NARS stuff. This is cute. Let's see what this is like. Okay, it's cute color. What? I don't know what is going on with my lights today, guys. I have no idea. What's going on with my lights today? <sighs> I did move stuff around, so I might have to check the settings and what it's on right now. Because I, if these lights are driving me crazy. All right, and so the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment is $25. Winding down here, guys. And this is the Murad uh, Hydrodynamic Ultra Moisture for Eyes. So this is an eye cream always 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 love the eye cream i don't know why i'm smelling it because it's just the cream i don't know why i'm smelling it y'all know i'm a little nuts ah! oh <laughs> it landed on the opposite side good all right so no cream everywhere but yeah so okay so this is a nice eye cream from Murad and we all know Murad makes beautiful well not beautiful makes great great quality products and they do last and your skin loves Murad products so um this Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes is 
Seventy dollars. Hey, seventy. Oh, I got lipstick all on my my thing. Oh, my finger. My, oh, my finger has lipstick on it. Hold, people, please. I didn't know my fingers had lipstick on there. Okay, so look at this. I got lipstick everywhere. Look at that. It's crazy. All on the front. I didn't even know my hands had lipstick on there. Stain my box, but okay. The box isn't important anyway. All right, yeah, this is $70, guys. $70. There's your box right there. Your boxy charm. And the last thing in here is this spun gel body wash infused buffer. Yes, I love these. <sighs> I got one in another box and I had used it. I actually just ordered um uh three uh the other day. I, my, the one I have now is a star, um, but yeah, it's about time for me to throw that one away. I don't know how often, how, how long they're supposed to last. I'm going to have to read up on that, how long they last or how, when do you throw them away and all this type of stuff. I don't know, but I feel like mine, I've had it for a while and I feel like I need to throw it away because um, I add, um, because you know when you first get it in the first times or whatever it has the soap in there and it lasts and leathers up and stuff i don't know i felt like it wasn't doing that anyway so i started adding my own body wash to it um so you know so i figured felt so i figured it must be time to buy uh, i'm sorry i didn't show you this one's like a little flower it's cute so um <sighs> they smell so good but yeah i ordered three um the other day so they should be coming soon i guess with everything that's going on they might be holding it hostage i don't know but um i should be getting them because i did order three but it's nice because i ordered one um for me my husband and my son because i'm always talking about it and i told my son he need to try it because it really does help exfoliate your skin and um you know i just told my husband to try it he do what i say but um oh yeah the sponge gel um is 16 dollars. yep that's what i paid for the three that i had um so yeah and that is the box it looks like i have variation number 10 um i don't know how much the whole box is worth because you know i don't generally look at the whole value of the box which i guess i should because i see a lot of people when they do their unboxing they tell you what the whole box is worth um i just tell you what the prices are but you know yeah whatever so yeah that is everything in both boxes guys and i just want to say i i do um admire the fenty and boxy charm uh collaboration that was really nice and the boxy lux was really nice for the first one for 2020 this is you know what i'm loving i don't know why i'm loving it the most because i have this but the sponge gel is definitely my favorite right now and i'm excited to try the um the um these two things but the sponge gel and this i'm really i really don't know like i said i have this i don't know why i'm so excited that i'm having another one but yeah so that's mainly what i'm really happy about okay oh and to try this uh, moroccan oil so yeah but anyway that is everything guys so uh as i stated before if you'd like to see how i came up oh you know what i didn't even show you what it looks like up close but this is what i put together today can you see So yeah, not my favorite look, but I just wanted to try uh, a few different colors in the palette. Like I said, I'm not real impressed with the palette anyway, like the color scheme in the palette anyway. So, but yeah, um, I think I did, you know, good enough, um, uh, good enough uh, to do a look. So yeah, very, very nice. If I didn't have too much highlight and I was going out, I would be very happy with the look. But you know, again, I probably wouldn't do it again. Y'all keep messing with these bangs. I always wanted to try one with a bang. That's why. I, I don't know. Because I don't wear bangs generally. So I wanted to do something different with the wig. Uh, do something I don't generally do. So, yeah. But anyway. So, yeah. And also, um, y'all can leave me some suggestions about what color you think I should get my hair dyed. Because, like I said, I'm leaning towards uh, blue or purple. I don't want red. I've had, I was a redhead. Bright red, uh, medium red, a maroon. I've done all of those so long. And I, I was blonde before. I had hair like this, uh, black with uh, streaks in there. So I'm looking to go different, y'all. You know, I'm getting older, so I want to go ahead and just do something crazy. Um, you know, I'm always going to cut my hair. So that's, a, that's, that's not crazy for me because <laughs> I cut my hair often. 
but anyway um yeah thank you so much guys if you want to see how i created the look today please continue to watch
gosh, I really forgot to come back after I got myself together. Um, my plan was to do everything I had to do and do the stuff that I had to do off camera, off camera, and then come back and show you everything put together and talk about um, doing a wear test or whatever. But, y'all, it literally has been five hours. Five hours since I first put my face on and <clears throat> and um, had this foundation on. So, um wear test is done I mean that's about as long as I would wear it anyway five hours I mean sometimes you know I wear eight or nine depending on if I'm out or something but usually when I'm doing videos and I'm doing a little wear test or whatever it's about four to five hours so anyway I have had this foundation on for five hours and man it looks good still it really looks good this was my first time using the Fenty um uh hydrating foundation i never tried the matte because i'm a dry skin girl so i just i don't tend to use matte foundations i mean i have especially if they're a good formula but i i tend to try to stick to um the hydrating kind dewy kind luminous type um but i stay away from matte for the most part so when she came out with the um hydrating kind i jumped at the chance although i've actually had this probably when was the last Sephora VIB? That's when I bought this because, you know, you girl want to save some money on some stuff. So I bought this whenever that was, September, October of last year and have not used it at all. But I must say as a first time I'm trying it, it looks good. I like it, like it, like it, like it a lotty lotty. It worked out really nice and the longevity looks good. My face looks good. I did not touch up at all. Um... It looks great and the powder under the eyes is still bright it looks great everything still looks great really really good as far as the foundation and powder those definitely um get a thumbs up and i will definitely be wearing the foundation more often well not more often since this was my first time trying i will be wearing it more and more now so yes now let's get back to boxycharm premium uh fenty collaboration so you know as you already uh no, I Fenty was the box. So, um, as far as these um, uh, eyeshadow colors, um, I could you know I could have been had this palette when it first came out or whatever, but I was never never interested in it because I don't like the color scheme. Um, I just never wanted this eyeshadow palette. So when I finally um, was able to get well, when I was taken off of the wait list, I actually was only on the wait list for one month because I just started getting my boxes back like last month. And then I said, uh, I went to try to get on premium, and it was a wait list. And then this month it said you were off. That was fast. I didn't know it was going to be so fast, but anyway, so yeah, um, so this was there, of course. And you know, I'm glad it was free per se, not free because I had to pay for the box, but you know. Per se, free. Um, so, yeah, because I wouldn't have never paid for this. I mean, I do have the colors on now. I mean, it's not my favorite look, but um, I do say that the colors, I mean, they, they blend it out nicely. Um, they got some nice pigmentation, but, um, yeah, I'm just not really happy with the color scheme. And, I, you know, and honestly speaking, I probably will never, ever use this again. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's the truth. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just don't like the color scheme and when I do my makeup I like to use it all from one palette I do I mean I've used several palettes before but you know I try to do it all in one because usually I'm doing reviews so I try to use just the colors in the palette you know um, but if I was going somewhere for me you know many a times I've used several palettes to get the look that I want so I guess I won't say that I'll never use it again but as a, a whole using this whole thing again no um, but again, the color, the shadows were not bad. Um, uh, not really too much fallout like that. It wasn't too much uh, fallout. It did have a lot of um, uh, shadow on here, but that's okay. So, you know, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. So, that's okay. Now, um, the lipstick I actually do like. Um, this is called PMS. It's really, really dark. I would never, obviously, uh, wear it with this look. But because it was in a box, that's why I put it on. Um, you know, I didn't know what color it was. Maybe if I had saw the color first, maybe I might have chose some different colors for the eye look today. But I just wanted to try the colors out. I'm not going anywhere. Because as you know, everyone is quarantined. Basically, not quarantined. But you know, I have to stay in the house. Um, 
so I'm not really I'm not going anywhere today anyway so yeah I put it on and you know it's nice it feels good on the lips um very very you know it's cool I, I wouldn't mind trying uh, another one um I do have one of the other Rihanna lipsticks the kind that come in a little glass bottle and got the the thing um this is the first time having this kind I don't have it right now because I don't know where it's at y'all know I got so much stuff I don't know where that's at right now and then the Fenty what is this diamond milk um this was okay. I actually used it with a brush because, you know, this lipstick is so dark. So I just used a brush and wiped it off because I didn't want to get the um, wand dirty here. So I just put it on with a brush. Um, yeah. And this was cool. You know, it gave a little sparkly sparkle because it got little shimmers in there. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it has some shimmers in there. Um, and, you know. And guys, you see my nails broke. I always break a nail. And because of this whole thing going on, I'm not going to go get them done. I'm not saying that they're not clean or anything like that. But I just, I don't know. Me, myself, I have a weak immune system. And y'all, I'm not trying to catch nothing. So, I'm not going to get my nails done until after this is over. If it takes six months to be over, then... <laughs> Oh well, I'm not going to have no nice nails. Oh well. Um, but I did honestly think about going to the nail shop tomorrow though. Just <sighs> early in the morning when they open. I thought about it because I still see people going in there. It, it might be okay. I will go in and, 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 and assess the scenery first before I decide to stay. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go anywhere. Um, and you know, I did go out and get some um, uh, supplies on uh friday i went on friday and yeah everything was going and stuff like that but um luckily i happened to get there when they were like just finishing restocking i went to bj's which is the same thing as costco and you know filled up on everything so we are good plus um like the weeks before i had started buying toilet paper so i have like four big rolls i have so much i mean I'm, I'm good on toilet paper i'm good on paper towels um i'm good on water I've got plenty of food snack we got it all we went ham on everything because we started doing it like not at one time but collectively over some weeks but when i went friday that i did get a bulk of um the food and stuff but as far as like uh, the non-perishables we were good on that i got hand sanitizers that i had been starting to stock up on i got the hands the liquid hand soaps that i've been stocking up on so i am good i think i have enough stuff to probably last like a month maybe four to five weeks really so you know but anyway um yeah sorry i went all the way off topic guys y'all know how i do whatever um so yeah and that was Oh, oh yeah. And the uh, the highlight, the Trophy Wife um, highlight. OMG. Y'all see my face. I put way too much. A little definitely goes a long way. And I should have known that because I did watch a couple videos on it. Um, but I guess, what in the world? It's not focused. But it did, um, come on. yeah whatever so um yeah i put way too much on um but uh like i said i'm not going anywhere <laughs> thankfully because this is way way too much uh highlight i love a highlight but yeah that's a lot and then um but i do like it it's really nice i just know that i have to use um a lot less that's all just have to use a lot less of it when i put it on and then the matchstick is what chili mango um this orange looking color you know it's okay it's okay I, I wouldn't mind trying another one of these this is my first time trying this um particular product and the orange color though i didn't think i was going to like and i really still don't because i don't think um you know it shows up that well i guess i could have used a lot more but i didn't do that but i mean it has a little bit of look there to it but um i actually do like it though i i would probably try another color but in a color that i like but i will use this again i will because it wasn't bad it's just that it was it wouldn't be a color that i actually um chose for myself but it wasn't bad i like it so yeah that is oh and the blotting papers i have not had a chance to use um you know, in the summer times, I have used blotting papers before to wipe off excess oil in my T-zone, even though I'm a dry girl. But um, in the T-zone, uh, this will be handy. But I haven't had a chance to use those. So, But overall, you know, I feel like the Fenty um, and BoxyCharm collaboration was okay. It was okay. I mean, you know, I got some other Fenty stuff. Um, but uh, it was okay. You know, 
this was my first premium box and, and I'm not mad at it it's it's cool so yeah um so that is everything today guys and um I want to thank you so much for sticking around to the end and I really appreciate you and I will catch you in the next video.